Mr. Speaker, First Nations in northern Manitoba are scared of the impact of COVID-19 on their communities. People in the Island Lake region are sounding the alarm. No running water, overcrowded housing, no hospital, nowhere to self-isolate and get treatment. Meanwhile, the government is talking conference calls, hand sanitizer, and testing tents. These are first world responses to a third world reality. This government needs to get real about what First Nations are facing on the ground. These communities need urgent infrastructure now and before the winter road season shuts down. So what will this government do to take COVID-19 on First Nations seriously now? The Honourable Minister for Indigenous Services. Mr. Speaker, we recognize that despite historic investments in housing, the deeply concerning conditions of housing infrastructures in many Indigenous communities face, and we're continuing to work towards a long-term solution. In light of the COVID-19 virus, we are exploring all options to address these challenges, including providing temporary isolation facilities and additional health staff for communities as needed. These supports for Indigenous communities are absolutely not limited by financial capacity. We continue to work closely with communities to coordinate resources. They are and will be there. 